Hello, I'm Carol Morrison with your top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. A federal judge has denied a stay of execution request for Oklahoma death row inmate Bigler Stouffer. He was convicted of killing a Putnam City school teacher, Linda Reeves, back in 1985. Stouffer's attorneys wanted to delay his execution until a February trial challenging the constitutionality of Oklahoma's execution protocols. Stouffer is now scheduled to die December 9th unless the governor intervenes. Police have identified the body found last week in Broken Arrow. It was 24-year-old Dylan Reynolds. Broken Arrow officers say they found Reynolds last Thursday when they went to check out a report of a person down in the 4600 block of West New Orleans. Detectives tell us Reynolds was from Tulsa. The medical examiner from the state is still working to determine how he died. Governor Kevin Stitt is encouraging law enforcement and those living out of state to apply for jobs here in Oklahoma. In a Twitter video, the governor says that workers here have the freedom to say no to the COVID-19 vaccine. As governor, I will always support our law enforcement and defend our freedoms. Come join our team. If you're an out-of-state law enforcement officer who is tired of politicians not having your back, I want you here in Oklahoma where we support you. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol posted the governor's video promoting the department's first ever Bridge Academy. It's specifically designed for troopers with experience at other agencies. The governor also mentioned Oklahoma's low cost of living, quality of life, and said this state is the perfect place to raise your family. Our 10 day forecast looking very warm compared to the normal temperatures this time of year. 66 your afternoon high for Wednesday, 70% chance of rain, especially in the late afternoon evening hours. Chilly on Thursday for Thanksgiving Day. We'll want to stay indoors and then head back out on Friday for shopping. 60 degrees and the sun breaking free, staying warm through next week. That is your 10 day forecast and headlines for this Tuesday, November 23rd.